Hi everyone, my name is Mary Loera and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today I'm doing a DIY video on planters for your garden and they're going to be hanging. So I wanted to upcycle all these buckets that I have. Um, Logan's dad, my fiance's dad, got them for me for from his work. They were just going to throw them out so I wanted to reuse them and I have them already for some plants, but I thought maybe we could make them a little prettier and have them hanging on his porch. So if you'd like to see how I do that, just keep watching. So what I'm going to start off by doing is taking an X-Acto knife and taking off the first part of this with the ridges and handle just so that they're all equal. And it'll be a lot easier to wrap my macrame around. And once you get it going, it's pretty easy to slide it all off. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do that to all of these buckets right now. So some of them are going to be a little jagged because you're doing it with a box cutter. If you have a table saw to use, I mean, go go ahead by all means to make it straight. But I'm just going to shave off the edges and try to make them as straight as I can. I'm not going to make it perfect, so you don't have to either. <laughs> so now that I have them chopped, I'm going to spray paint them completely white. I got this one and tried it out on a bucket yesterday and I had to do like four coats for it to look nice and it did not dry well at all. I had to wait, I had to wait so long for it to dry. So I'm going to try the chalk paint. Yes, thank you Isabel. I'm gonna try the chalk paint today and I think that'll work a lot better. Um, it's not supposed to, it's supposed to do ultra matte and it's supposed to have a prime and paint with it. So it's not as thin, it's like one coat and done. So I'll try that right now and do all the buckets white. All right, so now that I have them painted, I have it pretty much, um, all covered. It's a little bit see-through, but it's because the light's showing through it. Once the dirt's in, it's not see-through at all. And so I'm going to get macrame string. You can use thin or thick, uh, depending on your preference. But I'm just going to wrap the top around, and then I'm also going to do the top edge of it, just so that it looks um, more uniform with all of them. And so I'm going to do about an inch or two of the macrame, just to give it a little... Um, rim on the side to make it look nice. So I'm gonna just do that with a hot glue gun. I have this big one right here. So I'll get back to you once that's all finished. All right, you can see here I finished this one. I did the just the top rim and it looks pretty nice. I really like how it turned out. So we're gonna use all of these to make them into hangers. So I'm going to use the same exact macrame that I made into hangers for them. And what you're going to do is I take around my arm length across and double that. And then I'll cut it off and make three of those. So once you have three of these strings, you want to double it up. And then you take the loop side and then knot it into a place to put the hook. So just a simple square knot. So I did all of these around the size, just enough to get the hoop in. And then you want to take this and put it on the table. So to do this, you want to put something on the end of it to keep it down while you're working. Just something heavy or you can tape it down. I'm just putting a power drill for now. So you want to split it into three sections of two. And then wherever you want your planner to start is where you make your first knot. 
So now I have my three knots. I want to separate the ends of them and then combine the two together a little bit lower. Um, you can use your pop to measure them, so just put it up, um, midway through your pot and tie the knot. And then we'll connect these together and then these two together. And then you'll repeat this one more time for the bottom of the pot. All right, and this is how it should turn out to be. Just one row of knots, two, three, and then the knot at the bottom. And then you can use the first one as a template for your next ones just to keep them all the same and all the same lengths. Alright, so now that we have our buckets and hangers already done, I'm going to fill up the pots. I have marigolds and periwinkles. Just any vines I really wanted to hang down, but I want to mix it up with a little bit of flowers just to do every other like that pop of color. So I'm going to finish that up and then show you the finished product. So I put the plant in, put it in tanger, and this is the finished product. I really love how it turned out. I'm surprised by myself because these don't look just like paint buckets anymore. They really up, um, upcycle. So if you have any containers at your house or things that you aren't using that you don't think could be planters, they actually could be if you upcycle them. Even Tupperware containers, paint buckets like I have here. Um, I'm thinking of doing it with a big one to make a big standing planter also. So just get creative with it. So I'll show you how it looks all hung up. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you subscribe to my channel, like this video if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>